Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is something I wanted to talk about today. Um, a lot of these, uh, you know, these lawn care channels, they don't really kind of talk about some of the basics that people like you and myself um, don't know about. And right now I want to talk about uh, something really basic, which should be common knowledge, but is really not, is buying seed to for your for your lawn um one of the things that they'll say is like um you know this is a certain cultivar you know yeah of course it's a big word but what they're talking about is a certain type of seed i mean literally um normally when they're saying that they're talking about the more expensive stuff not stuff like you and I will go out and get at you know one of the big box stores would we'll just grab a bag of seed I mean <laughs> oh boy I, I just grabbed the bag of seed throw it down didn't prep the lawn I didn't do nothing I didn't do any of my homework to see one what type of grass seed grows in my area uh, two how to prep the the dirt the lawn everything I didn't do none of that and then I got the wrong type because I I put it down in the middle of summer and it was cold weather seed. It was, you know, fescue. And I, you know, I'm do, putting it down right in the middle of summer and didn't know <laughs> what the heck I was doing. And it was the big box, you know, grass seed. I wasted tons. I mean, literally, probably about, embar I'm embar embarrassed to say about 150 pounds worth. And now that I know... I should have been putting down per 1,000 square yards about three pounds, you know? I mean, I, and then I, I oh, I could tell you the stories. I would put, I, I put um, weed and feed. I'm thinking I'm going I'm to feed, feed the grass and kill the weeds and didn't grow no, I didn't grow nothing because I put weed and feed down right when I put the seed down. It was, yeah, I'm an idiot, so I, I'll admit that, but. One thing I want to talk about is buying grass seed. One simple is figure out what will grow on your lawn and what will take to your lawn. I'm really not in a cold weather area. I live in Georgia. But the only thing that works on my lawn is cold weather grass. You know, um, uh, rye grass I, I mean I, I did half my lawn and the rye grass is growing wonderful um, uh, I'm trying a little I'm trying some Kentucky bluegrass I'm mixing that in there and I'm use, and I'm also going I am using red creeping fescue if you, you do, do your homework on that that works in shaded areas and I 90% of my freaking lawn is shaded so I mean I'm I you know I got a lot of the area um you know a lot of my tree branches cut down and trimmed so I could get a better um a better you know light but the reason I'm doing this I'm having a mixture because if you go to the big box stores and you look to the on the back of the bag it will tell you what's in what type of seed is in your in that bag, um, and a lot of times it'll give you a mixture of perennial, uh, Kentucky bluegrass, and um, red creeping fescue. So, me being El Cheapo, what I did was you know I went around the country because I'm a of you can see I'm in an 18 wheeler over the road truck driver. And I found perennial ryegrass in one area, <laughs> in one area of the country. I bought a lot of that. I bought red creeping fescue in the west. <laughs> and, you know, in blue, bluegrass, I bought in um, Ohio. Okay? Um, now, I bought the good as they say the good cultivars what that means is it's a little bit more expensive but it's just that 
seed. The stuff that you see in the big box stores, if you turn turn it over, and I'll show you a picture. I'll, I'll put a picture in here so you can see it. You turn it over, you'll see um, what is in that bag. And the reason what I'm saying is it will say 40% rye grass. And then it'll say maybe 10%. I'm just giving you, you know, just throwing numbers out there. 10% bluegrass and then, you know, 20% red creeping fescue. What I did instead of me... Oh, and it also will say, especially in these big box stores, what they'll do is it'll say 2% weed, like like a weed grass or something like that. And now, if you're cheap like me, what you can do is still use that if it says the weed, because the weed's going to grow up in there. But you get, um, I think it's called, uh, it's a, it's a, you can get a, I, I got a liquid version. It's called Tenacity. And you can put that down when you seed. Your seeds will grow. And it, hopefully it will prevent the uh, the weeds to grow. Okay. Okay. Now. I'm going to give you part two to this. Um, one of the other things that I do. When I'm driving across the country. Is I always go into these big box stores if they're near a truck stop or they're not that far from a truck stop and I look around for deals anytime you're in Walmart and you see a, that right there that you little yellow sticker see it little yellow sticker little yellow sticker that means that I got a deal somewhere now this guy here is that's um it's a mixture of perennial ryegrass remember when I was told you look at the little white um, sticker on the back see how it says other crop seed oh brother you know what I mean and um, weed seed see how it says there weed seed and it's got little you know certain tall fescue per pound and if you see there it's 42 percent annual white rye grass and then it, it's um, five percent perennial I always get that confused. I think the annual. Uh, I'll put it in the in the thing there. I always get it confused because what I need this this bag for is I have a section um, where it comes off my gutters and it's just nothing but mud. Rye grass grows real quick, so I need to set some grass in that area. And as you can see, I only paid two dollars and forty-nine cents for it. And normally, the the other ryegrass I got was, um, I think it was like four or five dollars a bag. So, you know, and this is the big box store, so I'm going to use that. Now, this guy is Kentucky bluegrass. So, so is this one. Now. And uh, the other store that I bought Kentucky Bluegrass in was a big box store. I, you know, I paid, I think it was $14 a bag, a three pound bag. This is a three pound bag. If you look on the back here, it says pure seed variety. It's 24% uh, ad, with the Argyle Kentucky Bluegrass, 14% Pelos Kentucky Bluegrass, 8% Blue Bonnet. Other crop seed, inert material, and then you see that 0 .01 weed seed. So when I put this stuff down, I have a small container of tenacity. I'm going to spread it around with it. So I'm trying some Kentucky bluegrass. And let me say this. I live in Georgia. It might not work. So I'm mixing that with my other stuff, my other rye, uh, rye grass and... I got a little bit of fescue, you know, I'm doing the survival of the fittest. And this guy, that's, I think this, you say it's five pound, you know, five dollars for that, 12 for that. So if you really go, it's six pounds per whatever, somewhere in there. Uh, I still saved by getting one of these and I got a few more bags. 
up there that I'm taking home with me. Um, what I like to do is I, you know, I was shrubs, stuff. I'm, I'm not really not into that stuff that only lasts for a season, like, you know, winter. I want something that keeps coming back. So I look for stuff and like, I, I'm telling you, these Walmarts, what they do, they don't water the stuff. And I'm, I'm going to catch it when they're half dead and then bring them back to life. And then I'm going to plant them in my yard. And you can't beat that. You really can't. The only funny part is me lugging all this grass seed back to my 18-wheeler. But, I mean, if you look at it, I'm not going to use all this. But what I'm doing is I'm setting myself for, up for um, I'm overseeding this month. And then I'm going to have seed for forever because I keep buying this stuff. But I'm going to keep on doing it until I get a thick, thick, thick enough lawn to keep it growing. And I'm going to keep trying until I get what I need to get out of this. You know what I mean? Okay, this is some of the um, definitions and annual cultivar. And these are the areas where the grass grows. And you can Google this. It'll help you out to show you what zones you're living in in the United States. These are some things you need to learn.